Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic notice called Warning, Warning to Muslims and Hebrew Israelites. Warning to Muslims and Hebrew Israelites. It's 2013. We've crossed the threshold. We're moving towards a new earth, love light. The truth is being revealed. Now we have quite a few different kinds of Muslims in this country. We have some from the Middle East who's taken up space in Dearborn, Michigan, and they are under in corporate doctrine done contracts. They swear they own everything. They follow just like Mystery Babylon, which is the public. They're the public. They think they can take over the Republic property that's constitutionalized to black Americans. They think that they are Isaac heirs instead of, you know, those who are not even Ishmaelites because these people coming from the Middle East are not Ishmaelites. Ishmaelite, uh, uh, Ishmael, Ishmael look more like Malcolm X, okay? Ishmael look more like Malcolm X. And see, that's why Malcolm X came as a God man into the flesh to show you what an Ishmael will look like. So we're going to base our interpretation on Ishmael by those who have the appearance such as Malcolm X. Okay, Muslims from foreign nations, from Iran, Iraq, you know, the Middle East, um, your Arabs or who coming into Dearborn, Michigan. Let me warn you, those in Dearborn, Michigan, though you take up the space in Dearborn, Michigan, all your contracts are part of world public debt, world public debt. And you cannot be redeemed but through black American Judah, who is part of the republic, who non-consented any citizenships to you. Now, you, you seem to understand the evil of the white man, but yet you come to America and then you act like you forget everything, even the fact that you're consenting for them to drop depleted uranium to kill our populations of your future generations. So you left your home and you came here to America under a dung contract for your own safety, you know, for your own so-called betterment. But you know what? We'll be looking at those who stayed in their homeland as more favorable than you who came to be U.S. squatters, to squat on somebody else's land and birthright and pretend you are Ishmaelites. You're nothing but mutations from, from war, famine, and everything. You're nothing but mutations. Ishmael look more like Malcolm X, and I say Malcolm X because he's El Haj Malik Shabazz. He's the Muslim from us that you know. The same Muslim that reached out to many African nations and Muslim nations. Now one thing El Haj Malik Shabazz pointed out among his black Americans, brothers and sisters, is that for the black Americans that's in the royal court of King David, that is in the Holy Covenant, to not begin to fight each other over some blacks being Muslim and some blacks calling themselves Hebrew Israelites. He said, don't get into that. He said, you know, you can find a lot of other things to come together on. And the thing to come together on is serving the Judah nation, regardless of what you call yourself. Serving the Judah nation and the kingdom of God Almighty. Because true Ishmael, true Ishmael, and like I said, the kingdom would be looking at those who stayed in their homelands. Because we know we got Ishmaels who look more like Malcolm X in Egypt, in uh, Iraq. And in the Middle East, they're discriminated against. They're discriminated against because the paler some of these Arabs are, the more they act like they're better than the sun people of the original Ishmael Hill, okay? And a lot of this sin is coming to America now. They think they're going to overturn our constitutional republic. They think they're going to get away with their Sharia law here. They think they're going to, you know, squad all up as U.S. squatters in, in, in Dearborn, Michigan. And they think they're going to overcome somebody else 400 years human capital investment. But they're part of the mystery Babylon. So I'm warning you Muslims coming here. Your contract with mystery Babylon, you get what mystery Babylon get. And that's the dung and the wrath of God. God Almighty. That's the dung and the wrath of God Almighty. Okay? You know, we're at the end times now. And we'll be looking for real Ishmaelites. 
And like I said, they look more like Malcolm X, whether they here or in another place. Okay? You know, we're going to allow them, allow them a chance of the possibility of coming under the protections of the Holy Kingdom. Because we have nothing against Ishmael. We have nothing against Ishmael. You know, he's the son of Abraham. We don't have nothing against him. The Holy Covenant was through Isaac. The Holy Covenant was through Isaac, but the Most High promised him, th that promised Abraham that Ishmael would be, have many princes and, and, and nations. So the Most High didn't say, I ban Ishmael from the Holy Covenant. He didn't say that I throw away Ishmael from ever being able to participate in the Holy Covenant. He just said the Holy Covenant is not coming through Ishmael. It's coming through Isaac heirs, which are the constitutional supreme citizens in the Holy Covenant called the Constitution. That is the Republic, not part of the public, the Mystery Babylon. Uh, uh, people are coming from around the world to contract with our U.S. mule that King Yahshua rode in on in 1871 to catch all the abominators and, and of desolation who come here wearing religious robes, claiming religion, but they want to trample the Holy Covenant and they want to participate in, you know, an abomination of contractors who perpetrated infringement and want people to benefit from the infringement of 400 years of human capital, labor and investment stolen and the massacre of the natives. So a lot of these mystery Babylon is coming on top of blood and slavery and think they're going to claim the spoils of it, which means their hearts have evil intentions. And the, the mule U.S. corporation, King Yashua, rolled in on separate these abominators as goats from his sheep that he shepherded into the kingdom and the kingdom protections and to the royalty of the holy kingdom. Now, we already have some uh, people from Islamic countries that's in the holy covenant, you know, that's in the holy covenant and they're Arab and they're Muslim. A lot of them have black women and children, okay? We have Indian, Taj Mahal Indians also in the holy covenant. So you see the most high, the Most High likes a bouquet, but he likes a holy bouquet. It's not based on, you know, uh, it's not based on just race, it's based on holiness, okay? It's not just based on you being Ishmael, but Arabs are in our holy covenant that are not Ishmael, because I said Ishmael looks more like Malcolm X. They're a mutation of mixtures of, of something, but they're not Ishmael. Ishmael looked more like an Egyptian that had nappy hair and was a, uh, dark skin. So I'm saying this, Muslims don't try to come here and play games with us, okay? Everybody is not sleeping. Like St. Paul said, everybody is not sleeping. Now we know some of you Muslims respect King Yahshua and you accept King Yahshua and we know some of you Muslims understand the biblical prophecy of Mother Mary, of Mary, who gave birth to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we want you to understand that we're warning you don't get ahead of yourself thinking you're going to overtake something with these abomination contracts that you're under. Because we're the only one that can relieve you from them abomination contracts when you proclaim to us who you serve. Okay? You on this soil. This soil has supreme contract. It's called the Constitutional Republic. You're not the Republic. You're the public. Mystery Babylon, a U.S. corporate mule contractor, and the mule don't have one amendment. Okay, all the Muslims in Dearborn, Michigan, all the Muslims in Dearborn, Michigan, and those who think, because you come in crowds and have your mouth open, you can push whatever you want to push on a matriarchal country and a matriarchal holy covenant nation who birthed the Masiach. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. All you will do is declare yourself fit for hell. Fit for hell, and you will bring harm to your people wherever they are. Because in coming here thinking you're going to overtake something, all you do is consent to evil and consent to the globalists. And they are there to net you, and they are there to trick you, and they are there to make sure, to make sure you are captured for Satan. You are captured for Satan. So you ain't doing nothing in Dearborn, Michigan most of the time but consenting to Satan. If you don't know, you have to serve the Judah a nation, the Judah nation in the Holy Covenant Constitution since 1868 as a nation, or if you don't serve them, you will perish. You will perish. And I don't like the way you're taking up space in Dearborn, Michigan anyway. I think that should be used for some of these young girls being raped by Arabs in Darfur to get some relief. 
to get some relief. So maybe some of your Muslims over there in Dearborn, Michigan, who feel bad about the situation in Darfur, can set up some homes for some of them young girls that's being raped by Arabs, by being raped by Arabs and put into slavery so they can have some human relief. Human relief while you taking up the space trying to live in luxury on somebody else's land and birthrights. You better start doing your duty to God Almighty no matter what you call yourself on this soil. Because if not, if not, you gonna see phenomenon come down on you. And so this is what black Americans, because I saw, you know, some Hebrew Israelites arguing with some Muslim brothers and just because they call themselves Muslims, don't mean you have the right to argue and judge them because they're still in the Holy Covenant as Supreme Contractors as, as you. You know, they're still in the Holy Covenant. Malcolm X never changed his name from, uh, from being a Muslim. He just left the nation of Islam because he know that was not truth. And that's why I have a video saying why the Million Man March fell. And I said these women are acting like they're bond women. They're acting like they're bond women of Hagar. But Hagar really was what was really a holy bond woman if there is a such thing. These bond women are really just incorporate doctrine dung contractors and abominators of today. And so they abominate under incorporate doctrines. And so that's what Louis Farrakhan got the nation of Islam under. Incorporate doctrines calling themselves a nation. So the women following him is acting like bond women. I mean, if they was to call themselves a, a, a Muslim, Rather than a Muslim under the nation of Islam, they wouldn't be calling themselves a bond woman because they say under the nation of Islam, they have their service day from the, and they call this man a savior, which is blasphemy, which is born from this Caucasian woman. And I don't see how blacks can be that stupid or blind in the 21st century, but they start believing a doctrine and then they turn into stiff necks. They want to stick with it at any cost, at any kind of cost, even the cost of looking stupid, really. Even the cost of looking stupid, they will stick with it and claim intelligence. So I'm saying this, we have uh, Keith Ellison, who's a representative, and I didn't like the fact that he swore on the uh, Quran and everything, but Keith Ellison, he has a 15th Amendment. Now, if he wanted to swear on the Quran, he swear on the Quran, because the Most High don't force anybody. He don't force anybody. He want people to serve them, serve the Most High in his kingdom and his holy nation with their heart, not by force. But he don't want you thinking that you're going to overtake it, because then he's going to step in and he's going to put judgment on you. You know, it's one thing you're not serving it, but then it's another thing you insist on that you're going to trample it at all costs for any kind of materialism, any kind of gain, that you're going to decimate it and you're going to watch the decimation of his holy people and his holy covenant. You're going to watch the trampling on it of the blood. So then judgment has to come down on you because then it's past free will. You go into abomination of desolation and you're saying that I'm going to trample what God laid down. Now, if you do your free will without trampling his holy nation, then the most high could see you as a righteous person regardless. But a lot of them calling themselves Muslims and Nation of Islam, thinking that they can equal the nation of Judah by just killing off, uh, you know, Khalid Muhammad, you know, Malcolm X and all that. Whenever it starts coming into murder and treachery, whether it's of the thought, the mind, or the, or the spirit, or it's written down, or it's put out in the cosmic, whenever that starts happening, whenever that starts happening, it go past free will. It goes to trampling the blood of King Jesus, okay? And see, that's when the judgment comes in. And that's the warning to Dearborn, Michigan. Right now, Dearborn, Michigan, you're Mystery Babylon trampling like everyone else. So you're past free will of doing your Islam. You're past free will. You're taking up land and space that really don't belong to you. And this is a warning. Don't get too comfortable in your robes of, 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 of your prayer and all that stuff on someone else's birthright. Don't get too comfortable with your mosque crowding this land. Don't get too comfortable thinking you're going to push Sharia law. Don't get too comfortable thinking you're going to override the Constitution with, you know, your Islamic, you know, um, indoctrination. Don't get too comfortable that you're going to just kill all the Christians off. Because I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know now. King Jesus and his army is back. And he ain't going to take no BS from you coming into this country thinking you're going to abominate it. You know, we didn't do nothing to you because the Holy Constitution Republic has not consented it. The globalists, the globalists, Muslims, the globalists did whatever they did to you. And by you being a Muslim in this country from a foreign land, you consent to what the globalists did. So you're just as guilty as Muslims as the globalists that did their bombing in your country. So don't come here beefing your chest at Christians and, and accusing, especially a constitutional heirs, which is... Black Americans, Judah, and Ephraim heirs of many nations. Don't come accusing us of bombing your country because we had nothing to do with the bombing. You, as Muslims in this country, have more to do with the bombing because you came here to consent. You came here to consent for privilege and for housing and for education and whatever. You came here to consent. So you're the globalist friend. You're the globalist friend more than the real constitutional republic. And don't you forget it when you start pointing fingers and looking for somebody, somebody to take vengeance on because the holy constitution 
Don't consent to any wars. Non-consent was built in because the black Americans could not consent to even go to the Constitution, but they are citizens and the only citizens of the Constitution. The rest of you got fictitious citizenship under Mystery Babylon. Okay, Muslims? Okay, Muslims? You got a fictitious citizenship. And it's that fictitious citizenship you support the globalist military complex with. Okay? So you better point a finger at yourself. But don't come here with your nonsense. If you know, pledge allegiance to the flag, you know, one God under Allah and all this stuff. You know, you're not going to change nothing. All you're going to do is lose your own countries even further and lose the people and your relatives in your own country. And all you're going to do is be set up for Satan to retrieve you. Your plan will fail, trust me. Your plan will fail up in here in this day. We're in a new age. We're in a new age. And the patriarchal system is going to be dealt with. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.